Hey Rangers, today we have limited black edition Legacy Megazord of the Mighty Morphing range and oh my god this looks amazing. I had the 93 version and that stood out more and this just, oh I am so glad to add this to my collection. So literally we have the Tyrannosaurus, the Mastodon, the Sabertooth Tiger, Tr uh, Triceratops and a Pterodactyl and oh my god they look so pretty. Look at them. <laughs> I love just the, how the gold comes out, how it mixes beautifully with the black and then the red eyes. It looks like they were the, they could be the evil Megazords that could take on the original and just, oh my god. So let's have a look exactly at what you get with each of them. Here we go, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex and he looks absolutely fantastic. I love the red eyes that really stand out on this. And this is definitely a piece where if he was an evil one, that would be, my, my main attention would be drawn to his eyes. Here we have a lovely square around his head and again here, we have like this detail on his kind of like face or this kind of like chin thing. It looks really cool. The silver, I kind of wish they'd put that as gold. I think that would have been like kind of fantastic there. And it can link into the back of the Megazord. His arms move up and down. Um, and I kind of wish this kind of like gripped more. Um, and same on the other side. If we open his mouth, we can see that this is where the blast comes out, where the steam comes out, or the smoke, where he does his attack, his like earthquake attack, and the stickers are applied all around here, and even including there too. Um, on his chest, it looks kind of thing, it looks a bit wonky, um, so I don't know if they were applied manually or if they were like eh, but still it looks, it stands out quite well. His chest compartment opens, so that's why his head pops down like so, make sure it's all the way down, and then you can pop it in like that. And when we look at the Megazord and we'll look at more detail, it's silver and looks really like cool. These move around just like that, and it looks really weird um, to have him like that. So we'll pop his head back. Here we can see that there's gold around the horn on the actual Megazord. And it's like, good, 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 good Megazord, you are. <laughs> um, or was or I say. On the back you have the part where the um, the cannon where the Mastodon uh, clips on and here is like the kind of vents which look absolutely fine. Clips here um, to hold on and there again. When we have a look at the legs, um, the only thing that lets it down is the Zorb Builder parts which is there. Um, I kind of wish they weren't there but oh well, um, obviously you can have fun with the Zord Builder. Okay we have the stickers applied here and this gold looks absolutely fantastic, it's really shiny. When we look here at the like, circle you can see that they've put the lines in. Again I would never have noticed this on the actual Megazord. You can even go, and I really wish they painted these parts down here. I don't think you can actually see them, but they're kind of like, if they point out, they're kind of like the, the mech part where the, the oil or the power runs through. On his feet, we have gold, and same on the other one. Again, we notice that there's a red thing there for his chest, and the tail looks absolutely fantastic with looking at the stickers being applied. Now, these aren't too bad, and again, we have detail running around, and this clips into the part uh, at the top on the Mastodon. So here we have the Mastodon. It looks pretty cool. Um, the stickers here are all applied. It looks like they, it looks like they're not kind of really applied, like the like bends, but no, they look fine. Um, they're hiding like the kind of like the stickers, like the bolts to keep them in place, which is fine. Uh, we can see here. I wish they put these silver parts in as gold as well. I think that would look kind of cool rather than silver. Um, we can see that the stickers are applied gently down there and on there and obviously on his head. Now to me it looks like this hasn't been applied properly but they're kind of wonky. Not too bad and I'm kind of like glad that the eyes are painted to some degree. Um, could have put something at the top just there um, but they didn't. Um, but when we take the head off quite easily which clips in from here to here and then on there you can see that when you move these up to make the kind of the, the arms of the heads, which looks like a bull. If that could have a face, that would look cool. Um, here you have the gold um, and the kind of they even made the, the screws black. But again, they can make this gold. Um, but still, it looks quite cool. Uh, you can move the legs up and down like that. Obviously, it makes the kind of Megazord hands later on. But apart from that, he looks fun doby dozy. When we look at the saber tooth tiger, we can notice that the eyes and the stickers are applied. Now this is quite cool. These actually move, uh, which I don't know why. Um, you'd kind of think they look normal, but they can move ever so slightly. Uh, just be careful because you don't want them to snap off. 
Stickers look absolutely fine applied. I like this gold kind of like trim around here. Um, it would be nice again if they kind of painted this um, around here um, and the stickers like they've painted that part but then they've applied stickers all around. You can see that around the kind of main you have the uh, gold and again the stickers are applied on the back uh, and it looks like a good kitty cat. Now the part of the di that's die cast metal on this is the tail which goes up to like form that way. Um, on top when we look you see the red sticker here again looks it could have been applied better and again you have gold there and obviously you have the kind of metal part there. If you open it up again you've got more stickers here um, which looks absolutely fine. When you transform it into the thing the legs move in like so and then the legs move down like that so it can be like it's a kitty cat that's just lying down um, but then obviously when you turn it into the Megzord leg like so bam there we go you can move these down and you can make sure that this is moved properly because it looks like just here that there's no way it could look around but I'm guessing with a bit of play you can actually fiddle around with it and make it look really really cool. Now we're on to the Triceratops. Now unfortunately the horns don't move um, but they are kind of like a hard plastic. The eyes kind of really stand out and they've got a sticker applied to his nose. Boop. Um, here you have another sticker where it's the symbol and again you have more stickers that look fine um, and on here They've done that and I don't know why they didn't make that screw bl uh, black um, but it looks absolutely fine and you see there's more so, you know, stickers there and the tail is die cast which is the whole cannon um, which looks pretty fine um, you kind of think they would have made like put bumps in it so we're moving it down it's there so I think these little marks here um, kind of like keep the Megazord in place and kind of balance it on their own it kind of falls over but when you put the Megazord and combine it with Saber Tooth Tiger it's going to keep it held up properly so we can see another uh, red sticker there if I've not mentioned it again more stickers here and then the Zord Builder connect part where the Megazord goes the last one is the Pterodactyl now Originally, I didn't know you could connect these parts here, um, the Masson cannons for legs. Um, I think that's pretty cool. I like it so it could stand up. Stickers are applied here, and obviously the sticker for the main chest is there. And the gold really stands out on this one. The only part of this die-cast metal is the head, and moves up and down just like so. So if it's flying, like so, it will zoom in. And I think that looks quite cool, like a, a fast rush attack. On the, um, on the wings, if you can see, you have the kind of lines there um, and then obviously these fold in as soon as the head moves in just like that. There is a place where it keeps the kind of the beak and makes it intact so it doesn't kind of wobble about and the wings fold in to make the chest. Now the stickers down here look like they've not been applied properly and are quite wonky which again I don't know why they've not painted it. So if they do a wave two I kind of think that they will actually have this printed on rather than just kind of stickers but then again you've got around the back you've got some detail which you know they could have left in you can see it in the light um, which looks really cool um, to be honest and again it stands up quite perfectly you basically take them out and then there is a clip at the back so without it it can't stand properly out and here we have like tank mode and oh my god the just the, as you can tell from what we've looked over before the gold and the black looks impressive and oh, I just love the fact that it can turn into that mode. I completely had forgotten about this um, as I've not seen Mighty Morphin for a long time. But it just looks like an evil version of the Megazord. But oh my god, it looks like it looks fantastic. Um, I definitely like this sort of mode. Um, it definitely makes it kind of look just Wow, let's just say that. Okay, so it's pretty much easy enough to build. We've pretty much assembled all the parts, and as I said before, that they can lean in. So first of all, we're gonna add the saber-toothed tiger. Everything falls down, and it clicks in like so. We then have a look at triceratops, and it clicks in. So you can see now that they're perfectly there, and he can stand up so that's what the little clip was for him before uh, that's what the little clip was uh, at the bottom so this stands up perfectly now we have the arms which just come along like that and attach make sure his tails down uh, just like so and it comes in and pretty much connects uh, let's have a look so make sure you've got them lined up at the back pop it in like that close it like so and again 
close it like that. So he's like, whoa, I am a Megzod. Tail at the end goes back. I kind of like him like that. I think that looks kind of cool. If like, maybe the chest just is, just is like kind of head there. He's like, ah, rah. Okay, next, we move that all the way down and we bring the head forward, down and kind of in. And then we add the pterodactyl onto his chest piece like so. And then bring his things with him like so. Oh, that's not connected properly. There we go. So now we have an awesome Megazord. So let's have a look at him in Megazord mode and the completed mode, should we say. Now, as we can see, this guy is absolutely huge when you combine them. And I'm guessing he's exactly the same size as the Legacy Megazord. So looking at his like kind of head, here, it looks amazing him just standing like this. You have the guy in the gold trim, as I said, like all brings in, like when we look to the Transaurus and the horn, and his eyes look menacing, and his face, oh my, it just looks so awesome. Um, I'm really excited about this one. It looks like it could go against the original and have a huge fight. And this is just the evil version, but I know it's not, but it looks so cool. When we look at the stickers on the, the kind of from the Mastodon, it really sets in and the gold here is fantastic. Um, I'm just so pleased about this. When we look at the back um, of him, here we see the stickers are still applied and again the tail looks fine. And it's not that they've kind of like left it, they've actually really thought about this one. Again, black screws right there, but not on the uh, on the Save Two Tiger. But this looks absolutely fantastic at this point. When we come down to this one here again, we see that there's so much to it. Um, the lines that lead in from the legs straight into it. And again, the hands on these could have been gold, um, silver. It's kind of ruins it a tiny bit, but not much. And again, we've got the kind of more stickers that lead in um, that could be applied. Here again, we have like the kind of it leads in. And yeah, the arms have turned around. So we can either hold his Mastodon shield here or his um, sword, which is nice. I really wish this was like proper cr shiny, shiny chrome. But when we look at it, you can see the detail here of where it be. Again, I would never really have noticed this on the silver one. We have the line here um, and literally his hand can like hold it like that. And then again, we add the kind of arms here. Now one thing, oh, we have to move it up like so, so we can hold it in there. Now one thing I did forget to put on him when transforming were his cannons, um, so we're gonna add them to it, which is quite easy. The cannons go like so there, and again, like so here. So we can see that there's quite a lot right there, um, and it just like finishes it all off. So when we see it again, I'm so glad those little things are there because he could have fallen over. But when we look at the kind of the legs, they're, they're fantastic. It looks amazing. I prefer this in Megazord mode, preferably rather than say tank mode. Um, but this is just oh, stunning. I'm so glad that he is in my collection and I can't wait to get the original Megazord to have next to it. I'm hoping there's gonna be a completely gold version soon, the, the limited edition Bandai raffle ticket that they did. Um, I think that would be quite cool to have at some point. But we all know what's gonna come next, which is the black and gold Dragonzord and the black and gold Titanus. And I think that is the part that I would add to my collection straight away. Oh my God, I'm so happy about this, guys. So there we go, guys. There is the black and gold Megazord. He looks absolutely fine. I would definitely add this to your collection if you're a huge Power Ranger fan because this looks absolutely fantastic and this is definitely something that you guys need in your collection. So tell me, what do you think about this? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are your thoughts? Let me know down below in the comments and if you've liked this video, like, favorite, comment and subscribe. Check out Yada Games and all that lovely goodness and as always Rangers, thanks for watching and I'll see you in a bit.